guys, so in this video I'm going to just chit chat a little bit with you and then we're going to start with the uh, about me tag. And at first I didn't want, really want to do a tag but I've got so many new followers that uh, I thought it would be interesting for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to announce my new kind of monthly video that I'm going to do. and. It's going to be, I don't know the name of it yet, but it's, I think it's going to be called like Spotlight of the Month or something like that. And in those videos, I'm going to talk about what I think is hot at the moment. Um, and I'm going to talk about what's going on in the fashion world all over. And I'm also going to um, talk about like my favorite editorial of the month. And yeah, so because I know that a lot of like fashion gurus like they have to buy something to be able to talk about it but um, I don't know about you guys but I'm a student right now and I don't really afford all of the things that I really want and um, so in those videos I'm gonna talk about stuff that I really really want at the moment and things that I really think is hot and good-looking um, so yeah, it's kind of going to be like a monthly favorites video, but it's just going to be things that I don't necessarily have, and it's going to be kind of like a news segment about it. So yeah, the first episode is going to come out the 20th November, so yeah, check out my first episode. And I've also gotten some questions about uh, where I come from and etc. So I'm going to answer those. She asked, are you originally from Sweden? You speak English really, really well, and you almost seem quite American. I suppose because of all your trips to LA and whatnot. As well, you obviously speak Swedish amazingly too. I'm just curious about your background and where you're from and such. So, okay, before I do the about me tag, I'm just going to start giving you my, my background. So, both of my parents are Swedish. Um, and my dad, I think he moved to America when he was around 17. So, yeah, he was my age when he went there for the first time. And so my dad lived in America, but he went to Sweden on a vacation. And I think he met my mom in a party or something, or in a club. Uh, so he met my mom on a vacation, and my mom and dad got together. And they started dating, and my mom was like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go with you to America. So my mom went to America, and I think they stayed there for like two years until I came or something. Um, <laughs> but then they got me. So I was born in California, Ventura. Um, and yeah, so I was born there, and I think we lived there for like one or two years before my mom and dad broke up. And my mom really wanted to raise me in Sweden, and she really missed Sweden. So, yeah, she and I went back here. Um, yeah, and this is where I've been ever since. And I had my first trip to America, like, trip back to America when I was 10. So that's really when I started, like, catching up the language and the accents and everything. Because I lived at my dad's house, who now has a new wife, who's... America and they got a kid together so I have a stepbrother who's around 12 years old so yeah that's kind of my story um but right now I'm in Sweden and that's where I live right now and I don't know when I'm going back but obviously I'll give you an update because I'm gonna start doing videos from there um and yeah after Right now I go to school but I gra graduate summer 2013 so that's when I might move f to America for good. So, yeah. Probably not going to be a Swedish for that long, but I think it's like less than two years left, so who knows. We'll see what happens. Um, okay. Enough talking. I feel like this is going to be a really long video, so I'm sorry you guys. <laughs> you guys are just going to have to stick with it. Yes, I have a middle name, and it's Emily. My favorite subject in school is probably English um, and obviously styling. The stylist classes that I have are, yeah, my favorite ones because I get to do what I love. So, yeah. Since I'm not 18 and I'm not 
not allowed to drink alcoholic drinks. Uh, my favorite drink is probably Arizona iced tea. I love Arizona iced tea. It's like my must have. Um, right now I've been listening to a lot of like chilled out music. Like I, like I usually listen to like dubstep and and rock and you know those kind of music yeah that kind of music but um, my favorite song right now is um, Blackbird by Beatles <laughs> I know it's weird I can't stop listening to it I would I haven't really thought of the guy name like if I were to have a son but but if I get a daughter, I would really love to name her Melanie, um, just because I think it sounds, like, cool. <laughs> and it kind of rhymes with Stephanie, like, Stephanie, Melanie, Stephanie, Melanie. Like, it sounds a lot alike. Um, I don't know. So, no, I don't. I used to, uh, pole dance, um... But only as a sport, you guys. Like I don't, I don't take off my clothes. It was just so much fun because you could, you got to dance around and and yeah, you really, it's a really tough workout. You have to be in really good shape to do it. <laughs> so yeah, um, but I also used to dance, like street dance and stuff like that. Now I only go to the gym. I don't read a lot of books, really. I don't think I have a favorite book. I don't think I have. Um, oh, well, okay. There's one book uh, called Elsa Smolde. And it's like a Swedish fashion book. It's about a girl who, who just got back from Sweden, from New York. It's funny because in the book, it's like, they like name places in Sweden that I know of. Like, oh, and then Elsa went to that club, and then... Um, they actually have a character in that book, um, which is inspired from the stylist that I actually work with, um, a couple of months back. So, yeah, it's just really, like, fun for me, especially, because I really, like, I kind of, like, know the people that they're talking about. My favorite color used to be pink, as you might see. I don't know if you see my wallpaper from here, but my wallpaper is pink, so my whole room is pink. But right now, um, God, I'm just into, like, green and blue and purple. Yeah. <laughs> but very dark colors, like, dark, like, dark blue, dark purple, dark, uh, I don't know. It might sound depressing, but whatever. <laughs> I love dogs, because, yeah, who doesn't love dogs? Okay, so my per favorite perfume is Miss... I don't know how to pronounce Dior, because in Dior... Miss Dior Cherry. Um, I love, love, love this perfume. Um, it has, like, a girly touch to it, and the bottle is really cute. Um, I've had it for ages, like, I think I bought it when it came out, so this is what I've worn lately, and this one, I don't know where it's from, it says so sinful on it, but I don't know where it's from, but it, it kind of has this little, like, vanilla touch smell to it, I love it. My favorite holiday is probably mm, Halloween and New Year's. Halloween is so much fun because you get to dress up and everything. And I just love New Year's Eve because it's probably like the best day of the year because crazy stuff happens during New Year's Eve and everyone's dressed up and gorgeous. So I really love that. Um, I haven't, I don't know, like, because the Swedish school system is so much different, more different than the American one. 
and we actually graduate after ninth grade in school and that's when we start our college i guess so you guys comment and tell me what grade i would be if i lived in america because yeah i don't know <laughs> but i'm in second grade in swedish college i guess you can say Yes, I've been out of the country um, a lot of times. Um, I've been in Greece, Turkey, London, or England. Um, I've been in Norway, Germany, uh, America, obviously, Mexico, uh, Spain. Um, yeah, just some random places. I think that everyone would know this by now, but yes, I speak Swedish and English, and I actually studied Spanish in school, but we had such bad teachers, and yeah, I didn't learn anything, so I don't know Spanish, I only know like, hola, mi amo, no, mi amo Stephanie, that's all I know. I have one stepbrother, his name is Bo Kyle. Hi Bo Kyle, if you're watching this, love you. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm like the only child. <laughs> I'm the only child in Sweden, <laughs> let's just say that. That's a hard one. I think it's H&M just because the amount of selection that you have. And they're always like on trend. Um, which I totally love and they have like guest designers and everything. Um, the only sad thing is that, yeah, like everyone, everyone wears the same things from H&M. But yeah, if I had to pick one, it, it's gotta be that. My favorite restaurant is probably Vapiano. It's a Italian restaurant in town. Um, yeah, I think it's that one. Yes, I do like school. I love school. Um, I used to not like school, but since I've started college, I really love it because I get to do what I love. And wow. <laughs> I don't know. I do. I have a lot of favorite. You I like. I don't know. That's a tough one. I think it's got to be between. Andrea's Choice and Beauty Crush. Beauty Crush, I love her videos. Okay, I think it's Beauty Crush. Yeah, it's Beauty Crush. My favorite TV show. Okay, I'm gonna change up the question. Favorite TV shows, because I have a lot of, a lot of favorite TV shows. I love Blue Mountain State. I love it. They're, it's hilarious. I love it. You guys have to watch it. It's on MTV, and before I started watching it, and it was on T, I was like, ah, oh, what the fuck is this? Um, but now when I downloaded it, and I just keep watching every episode, like, I love every single episode. And especially when you get to know, like, the characters. I love that. He's so sexy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, the other one is probably uh, Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, that's mostly it. Mac, obviously. I love Mac books and everything. Um, and this is the MacBook I have. It's my school computer. I use this iPhone 4S. Um, and I love it! Woohoo! I'm a pr pr very proud owner just because <laughs> I used to have this phone before and it doesn't even have a camera, so I don't know how I, uh, I, don't know how I survived. I am a 172 centimeters and 5.8. Um, so yeah, that's how tall I am. I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video, and I tag all of you guys. So just uh, do a video response of this, and if you have time, because one thing that I would really love to do is like. I share all of this on YouTube, but I don't know anything about you. So what I would love from you guys is if you could comment down below uh, your name, where you live, and just a little bit about yourself and 
what you want me to do to improve my videos and how you found my channel. Um, yeah. So that's what I would love from you guys. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.